Hello. Welcome. Welcome to No Man's Sky. A little, little different, but I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this. We're going to be having a relaxing space adventure. We're trying to, at least. We'll see. I'm assuming... Assuming the universe doesn't try to kill us, I guess. Alright, that's me. How do I put my camera back in my head? Cold out. We're gonna have to find a scanner critically damaged. I need ferrite dust to fix my scanner. Thermal protection falling. We're gonna have to fix that at some point. Bring that back up. Fo no, not photo mode. I want utilities. Oh, camera view. There we go. No analysis visor found. Okay. Ferrite dust. Gotta shoot some ferrite dust. Here we go. So the goal of the start of the... Whoa, hello. I didn't know that you were alive. My bad. <laughs> the goal of the start of this game is basically to fix your equipment. You've, we've woken up crap crashed it on this planet, so we gotta fix our equipment so that we can find our ship and get out. And then the rest of the goal of the game is pretty open. Uh, there is a story that we can follow, but it also allows us to just basically free roam a universe full of literally billions and billions of procedurally generated star systems. So there's really no, there's no end. I mean, there is, the story ends, sort of. Ah, you know what? Let's just hang out and not worry about that. That's not important. I need to repair my scanner, so I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to click on my scanner, I'm gonna insert whatever damaged part was, and I can now scan to locate sodium. Some sweet, sweet salt. <laughs> I see none. I see, I saw carbon. There it is. There's the sodium. N-A. My jetpack is working. There's a way... Oh, I've been assaulted by a plant. You will pay for this. Become oxygen. There used to be a way where you would do like a, a swipe with your weapon. Anyway, my life support is low. I need to get that dealt with first before I'm starting to swing my gun at people. We can use this sodium to recharge our hazard protection. It'll help a little bit. We're gonna need more sodium to really kind of do that better. Now, what is that yellow stuff? Is that that's not sodium, is it? Uh oh. My scanner doesn't quite work the way it's supposed to yet, so I can't check that out. It's been quite a while since I last played this game, so I actually don't fully remember how to do a lot of things. Ah, you got me. You got me. You're done. So I'd like the sodium. So that did actually fully repair our... Well, that's copper. Okay, I don't want that. The sodium did fully repair our... What is it called? <laughs> Remember what it's called? Our hazard protector? Basically our shields. What is this thing I've just located? A damaged machinery. You don't say. Ah, it's got some residual goop in it. We can just purge that. Oh, we could probably pick it up. It's worth units. We have room in our suit to carry it. And what's inside? Nanites, which is the currency. So that's good. I see some sodium over here. I can grab this, and then we're going to reach the marked signal, which I believe is our crashed ship. Where is that in the universe? There it is. So we're going to head over there. It's 350 units away. Let's grab some dihydrogen while we're here, just because these crystals are just existing. All right, that'll do for now. Maybe we grab some ferrite dust. Might need it for repairs later. There's life forms here that I don't really want to bother at the moment. Use the scanner to highlight key resources. There we go. So it appears that we're in a frozen, either a frozen planet or just the frozen section of a planet. And that's part of the fun of this game, is getting to explore all these different planets and the, the different life forms on there. Look at this guy. I don't have any pellets to feed you. Every planet's got its own ecosystem with its own life forms, its own fauna, its own flora. Look at these. Unidentified plant. Wow. We're going to need some of this red stuff. What is this? Carbon? Crystallized carbon? Condensed carbon. That should be useful as a fuel source, either for our, our mining beam or for Possibly even for our ship. You can get regular carbon from these regular plants. It's Q to swing my... There we go. So whenever you press Q, it kind of jolts you forward a little bit. And if you activate your jetpack right after being jolted forward, you get a little boost. It's a little, a little tip. A little bit of muscle memory that just kicked in there. I was trying to remember how to do it. And then once I stopped thinking about it, it just worked. So that's 
Always nice. What we got here? I need an atlas pass for that. This box has some oxygen. This box has some condensed carbon. This damaged container will have to take out the rusted metal. And I'm carrying it with me for now, but you can just kind of purge it, I think. Uh, what did we get there? Uh, a little bit of dihydrogen. Okay. That box is busted. This thing is busted. But I think we can just take the goop out. We'll just put that in our pockets for now. All right, we got a shield module, an A-level shield module, which is pretty good for this point in the game. How do I equip that now? I need to go my exosuit, and yeah, I think I want to install this because this is pretty good defense system here. So we'll install that for now. I should have put that next to my shields. Actually, do I not have shields? It doesn't seem to connect to anything, so maybe I don't. Maybe we just stick that over there for now. Okay, so we can't open that. Let's talk to this thing. Iteration number 23948290849249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249
hazard emitters to deal with the storm. Oh my gosh, it's getting very, very cold. That is going to drain our hazard emitters quite quickly. Although if we go over here, we can grab a little bit more sodium, which will buy us a little bit more time. It's now 100 degrees below zero, which is very, very cold. It is draining our hazard emitters at a terrifying rate. My visor's frozen. It's hard to see. We're at 50% of our thermal protection here. I can refill that with a little bit of sodium, I think. Where is that hazard emitter? So we've got 77 sodium. It's only going to cost us 20, 21 now to top it off. Look at that big guy. I don't like you. You're scary. Goodbye. Oh, I've got more sodium here. Let's grab this real quick before we run out of thermal protection. So from 37 to 100%, it only cost me like 21. Oh, we got some boxes here. 21 sodium. So the sodium we have on hand is going to be pretty handy for us right now. And we're finding more, so I'm not too worried about that. We're finding the sodium faster than we're consuming it. That's always a good thing. Okay, we should probably be focused on getting to those coordinates there. Maybe grab the oxygen on the way. There's some buried technology here. I don't have a way to dig at the moment. Alright, what's in this machinery here? I'm gonna have to take the goop, probably. Oh, this is viscous fluids. Okay, put those in my pocket. Alright, we got a starship launch fuel. That's kind of important. We do kind of want that for when we launch our starship. Let's make sure that we're always looking for a little bit more sodium, just in case. Because you never know. Although the storm does seem to be subsiding. We can relax a little. Make our way over here, grab this little bit of sodium. And I see our destination as well. Alright, we'll pick this up. We'll refill our hazard protection system here. A little bit of sodium. We also have sodium nitrate and a battery, maybe? I don't know where they are, though. And while we're at it, why don't we refill our life support system that just takes a little bit of oxygen. And while we're at it, why don't we refill our mining beam, which is almost empty. And that's going to take uh, just a tiny bit of this condensed carbon. So what do we have here? Are these on? They sure were. All right, let's check this one first. This one does not have what we're looking for. It does have a little cube of encrypted navigation data. That paid me to look at. It doesn't appear that there's anything else in here of interest that we can do anything with. So clearly somebody's been here before. This room's in shambles. I guess we'll check the hollow archives. Accessing archive. Six out of seven logs corrupted. Entry number 4924A follows. No one making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. All right, give me those supplies though. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. All right, we'll take our hermetic seals. There's another planet out there, or possibly a moon. Hard to tell. Where is our starship? We can use... Our visor needs help here. We need to fix that. We need carbon nanotubes. Okay, let's do that real quick. Do we have... Open the inventory to install the analysis visor. Do we have it? Oh, we understand how to build this technology. It's just going to require some carbon nanotubes. Okay, we don't have the resources for that. We're going to need some carbon. We have carbon. All right, so we can craft some carbon nanotubes. Just like that. And we go over to our multi-tool, open up our visor, install those nanotubes, analyze objects for rewards. So now we can use our visor. And we can use it for target sweeping. And we can use it for analyzing things like these plants. And we get paid to do this. There's a floating crystal over there? That's wild. I can see life forms moving about on the planet as well now. Dioxite deposits. Let's scan some of these rocks and learn more about what's in them. So it looks like nobody's been here before. I discovered this planet. Ibuk 46v6, a frostbound planet. Alright, I found where a starship is. I do also want to take a quick scan of some life forms if we can find them. I think I saw one over here. I don't know where those guys are going. I mean, I'm stranded here, but they probably didn't see me. 
So what's this little guy up to? A biological entity. He's farsighted. He's got valuable blood though, and produces leopard fruit, whatever that means. But now I know about this species. I can see them everywhere. Look at this, there's a baby one of that species. What are these guys called? Q... Biro... Biroch... Beanum? Whatever, you can rename these things later if you want to. Ah, birds. Interesting. Oh, what is this thing? Look at this beastly man. Or possibly woman. Where'd it go? Oh, come here. I don't know what you are. Oh, never mind. It's, it's gender is asymmetric. This beastly beast. It has limited sentience, though, and it produces tall eggs. Hello. Sorry, didn't mean to spook you there. That's kind of my fault, isn't it? Life on this planet is truly alien. What are you? It regrows its teeth each day. Wow. There's more ships. I think that's the same group. There's still some alien life forms I have not scanned yet. I can see them. I can, I can sense them with my analyze visor. My analysis visor. Ow! What are you? Why do you keep doing this to me? It's sentient. It has a sentient root structure. That makes it feel like maybe I shouldn't be zapping it. Just, just because it smacked me once. What are you? It's an infant. It's cheerful. Likes eating rotting fruit. What does it do? It changes its gender while it's cold. When it's cold. It's currently male. Is that because it's cold? Oh, look at you. You've got a face. I don't like you. Goodbye. Anything else around here that I should be aware of? No, I think I've scanned all the different... All the different fauna that exists here. So maybe we just get going. What are these? Frost wart? Don't think I need that. What is over here? Hazardous flora. There's like a little Wi-Fi signal over there. Let's just get back to my ship. It's cold out. I'm gonna have to refill my... Hazard protection. It's at 31%. We got plenty of sodium. Hello, look at you. What is this blue plant? A deuterium-rich plant. It's got a fungal root structure. Produces nanite sap. Oh, it's giving me a jetpack surge. Which is like a brief period of infinite jetpack fuel. <laughs> Normally your jetpack lasts, you know, half a second. That gave me a little surge. I think I've harvested these crystals before. What are you? Are you the... You're the evil plant. Do I know what you are? Yes, I do. I've seen your kind before. Target sweep currently unavailable. Oh, okay. What is this? Dioxide. Terrain manipulator required. Well, we don't have that, nor do we have time to figure it out. What else is going on over here? That's my ship. That is just a pile of rubble. Oh, what are you? Eat frozen meat. Okay, fair enough. Let's do a little scanning. Learn a little bit about the stuff on this planet, and then we'll move on. We are explorers, after all. What are you? It's got paralyzing spores. But it's made of carbon. <laughs> I will shoot it. What are you? It only flowers once. Alright. Repair the pulse engine. Hello, I've brought you some hermetic seals. Alright, the launch thrusters need help. They need some pure ferrite to be repaired and some dihydrogen jelly. Looks like we have the jelly. We'll just plug that in there. I don't know where that came from, but I have it. Now, pure ferrite. We're gonna have to look for that, probably. Or, we can construct a portable refiner. We're gonna need some ferrite dust, so let's find some rocks that we can zap. Oh, I probably should have scanned that first just to see if there was anything else to know about. I'm sure we'll find other rocks that look like that. What are you? Well, a plant. Grab more of this dihydrogen just in case we need to make more jelly. Uh-oh, I'm overheating here. I'll let that cool down a little bit. Do we know everything that there is to know about the nearby plants? Yes? What about these rocks? Here we go. Let's learn about this inorganic object. It's salt-baked, and it's got gravitational bonds. It's made of ferrite dust and chromatic metal. Get in my pockets. The lector... lectorite. Just a lot of lectorite kicking around here. And what is this? Sit sitiite. Sitiite. This is ferrite dust and sodium. Oh, that's good. Nice salty rock. It'll help us power our hazard protectors. I don't think we're getting a lot of sodium out of that. Well, I see a little bit of it flowing into my pockets. So that's alright. Can't complain. Nope. Oh, overheated my mining laser. That's bad. Well, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. What are you? I know you. I've seen you before. Oh, what is this? A new plant. It's old. It's an old plant. Alright. Let's keep mining some of the sodium. Or, more specifically, we're mining for ferrite dust. 
What is this big old rock? S snow kuhite. That's also ferrite dust and sodium, but it's much bigger. So we should get more of both resources from that. Okay, so now that I've gathered some stuff, let's quickly refill our hazard protection here. I should be able to craft a portable refiner, which is going to require one metal plating. So let's make that metal plating really quickly. Deploy the portable refiner. Okay, so we'll just plop that down there. Fantastic. We're going to have to fuel that. So the fuel inverter runs on carbon. So we'll plug in our condensed carbon. Didn't take too much. And we want to take our ferrite dust, right? Yes, and we want to turn this into pure ferrite. Begin, please. And while that's running, I'm just going to gather a little bit more ferrite dust from whatever this is. This latenodite, which is ferrite dust and dihydrogen. Oh, look, there's a little bit of green grass over here. Isn't this nice? So it's not all completely frozen. There's a cave over here, too. We can pop in here really quick. It's probably warmer. And so these are cobalt, but what else are they made out of? Cobalt and dihydrogen. Eucroyptite. Interesting. Truly fascinating. What is that? Some hazardous flora. Well, it's made out of sodium, so I'm gonna take this salt flour. Oh, oh, it exp mm. What are you doing? Do you explode or do you just emit? I think it just emits. Oh, that one's made out of oxygen. Are they all made out of? No, that one's, hmm, how strange. Maybe made out of isn't the right word. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's emitting or what it produces. Anyway, that's the end of those. And then we're just back outside again. This is just a tiny little cave. It is warmer in here, though. Not by much. I mean, it's still 30 degrees below, which is, you know, it's quite a cold winter. Herberbite. That's ferrite dust and oxygen. All well, these tiny pebbles, I can't mine. Okay. I will mine more of these, though. And then maybe we grab one of these trees and tear it, tear it down to its base carbon components, just in case we need a little bit of fuel later. This one's got carbon and oxygen. That's a lot of carbon that we got for pulling down that tree. Yeah, okay, this is, this is a good investment. There's a lot of different alien birds floating around. Flying around, I guess, more accurately. All right, let's grab our pure ferrite out of this machine here. Wonderful. Put that in my pockets. And then I'm thinking, I might want to pick this thing up. You come with me. And we need to fix these thrusters. A little bit of pure ferrite. Component repaired. All right, so now what kind of state is this in? Launch system online, all systems functional, return to your ship. Here we go. Seek answers among the stars. Use W to take off. All right, and now we have liftoff. This seems like a good time <laughs> now that we've completed a... Oh, no, don't land. No, don't do that. I've goofed. That might actually cost me. I didn't mean to press that. Do we have enough to take off again? We do. Let's not do that again because we don't have enough to take off again. But next time, we will head to the stars. So won't that be exciting? Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I hope you'll join me again as we continue to explore space. Do a barrel roll. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. Like, comment, subscribe. Of course. Goodbye.